back at it again with another mystery box and I think that this one is going to be a banger. Welcome back guys to another video, thank you for tuning in. If you noticed, uh, I set up my horror autograph wall behind me, finally it's all done thanks to my brother. It took a while, I just had these pieces laying around that I really wanted to hang and then last weekend we got everything up, it looks terrific in my opinion. And now I have a whole another wall to get going on. Today's box is a little bit different. It's a bi-monthly mystery box. It's sort of a set box. This box here is from Zobi, and it's their Fright Pack. So they make these mystery boxes. They have like an anime one, animation, wrestling, Fright Pack. There's a bunch of different boxes they make. I've been following Zobi for a while. I've actually ordered a few of their extra large horror boxes before and got some kind of cool stuff out. But I've never jumped on board with these bi-monthly mystery boxes. I noticed they had some really cool franchises. And I couldn't help myself and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try it out, see what it's like. I'll tell you a bit about this box. They had the standard box, which was 40, and then they had the director's cut, director's cut, which was 60. I got the director's cut because with the director's cut for an extra 20 bucks, you get a signed Funko Pop. For 20 bucks, good luck finding any autograph Funko Pop out there. You won't for under 20 bucks. Let me read you off a really quick description. Ask for your shirt size, so there might be a t-shirt in here. The Freight Pack is a limited edition bi-monthly mystery box that includes horror-themed related collectible items centered around authentic celebrity autographs. Director box will include all five themes and include two autographs. Standard box only includes four out of the five. The themes of this month's horror box are Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, which was an awesome movie, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'm gonna be honest, somebody already ruined that for me. It's gonna be a pin because I was kind of surfing through Zobie's Facebook page and someone was like, hey, where can I get the Texas Chainsaw Massacre pin that came out in the last Zobie box? So thanks for spoiling that for me, dude. Um, Psycho, Child's Play, and Churchill Manor. In this box, they give you a shirt, an autograph, an art print, and a prop, which is like sort of like a prop replica. And then I know in this box it has a pop as well. So, so we'll get into this. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that Psycho is the art print. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like I said, is gonna be the pin. The pop, I'm gonna guess, is signed by, I would say somebody from Child's Play. I, I really don't know. Let's, uh, I don't want you guys to peek because we're trying to keep this mystery. Prop this up with my fancy fuzzy pillow. We got some paper on top. Oh, there is a shirt in here. I'm very excited. I've watched a lot of YouTube unboxing videos and I've only seen like really cool stuff come out of these boxes. So shout out to Zobi. Oh, you got another person on board for these boxes. I think we'll do the shirt first, but I will show you first. It's gray and it's medium. What do we got? Oh, okay. So the psycho item is not the print. It looks like the psycho item is a shirt. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. This is a Gildan Ultra Cotton t-shirt. You know what? I wish I could wear this to work, but I work at a hospital and I think I might scare everybody that comes to the department. You know what? We might as well just put this on. I'm gonna put this on because it's a sick shirt. So I think medium was a good fit. Wondering what size to get for the next box. Um, I'm 6'1 and I weigh 140 pounds and this fits really, really nicely. I always roll up my sleeves, but the sleeves are about here. This is a nice shirt. Think about going anywhere and buying like a horror related shirt. You're gonna pay at least 20 bucks. So there's half the box right there. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna save the pop for last. Oh, I got a pin here. The thing about Zobi is they always number their pins. So from what I gather from everybody's YouTube videos, it's always like a hunt to get number one or the last one. So we'll see what number we got, but I'll show you guys first. Yep, that's another face. Out of 550. Let's see what number we got. Whoever makes these does a great job on them. 490. We were close. All right, let's do the next thing. Okay, this is the comic book. So maybe there isn't a print. Maybe they just included uh, the comic to like replace the print. Churchill Manor, here we go. That's pretty cool. So the guy signed it. It looks like there's four signatures to be honest. That's cool. All right, now we will do, is this a spoiler sheet? What is this? They started to include these, I think this year. $10 off JSA authentication. If you had something to send in that was signed that wasn't authenticated and you want to make sure it's legit or just get it verified for, you know, reselling purposes or something, they've included a $10 off JSA authentication. All right, yeah, so just the print. What's that? Is that a spoiler sheet? I guess they're working with seven bucks a pop, which is another like mystery box company, but they specifically do um, Funko Pops. Five bucks off. That's neat too. We have scary stories to tell in the dark left and we have child's play. Interesting. All right, let's do the um, auto first. This is JSA authenticated. It looks like this is the way up. We'll see what it is. One, two, three. Okay, cool. 
That's kind of neat. So we have Chucky and we have Alex Vincent who plays Andy in Child's Play. This is signed by Ed Gale. Ed Gale, he is the person inside the costume. So anytime you see like some running shots or like some attacking shots uh, with Chucky or like when he comes down from the fireplace, that's Ed Gale. So that's not Ed Gale's signature. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's take it back a second. Yeah, Ed Gale's is usually like a little E and a G. I thought maybe it was close. So it's not Ed Gale, it's Eden Gross who um, was the voice of Chucky, not not the bad Chucky, because that's Brad Dorif's voice. I'm seeing Brad Dorif at Niagara Falls Comic Con in June, so I'm gonna get him to sign my Child's Play vinyl. So that's pretty neat as well. I, I can't complain about that. So that means that if we got Chucky on our photo, then we have scary stories to tell in the dark. So for an extra 20 bucks, let's see if this thing is decent. Uh, it's JSA authenticated as well. Mark Steger. So we signed it in bright green. That's pretty cool. This pot protector, it is one of Zobie's um, bloody pot protectors. So they do sell these. Pretty cool that they included one of these in the horror box. That's kind of a nice touch. Handsome dude. Harold and Jangly Man. So those are the two that are in the collection, I guess. Do I think that this box was worth 60 bucks? I think it was 10 bucks shipping to Canada as well, which is not a lot. I would say yeah, for sure. Very cool, very cool box and, and a fun box too. I mean, there's sort of a little bit of everything. You get a comic book, something to read, you get an autographed photo, you can hang, you get a Funko Pop if you want to trade it later on for something else or just put it in your collection. You get a t-shirt, you know, that's gonna last you, what, two or three years? And then a cool pin. I mean, these pins that come in these horror mystery boxes are pretty sweet. Like, So thank you guys for watching another mystery box unboxing. This was definitely a very cool box to get. I will definitely be ordering again. So May will have another horror mystery box and you can look out for that video once I get it. Till next time, which I don't know will be when, but I know I have something on the way, so maybe soon. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.